Bluetooth's got a real place for it, but there are still people that don't necessarily trust Bluetooth yet. And there's always been an argument about facial recognition. Yeah, yeah. And, and again, we go back to the whole issues of, of uh, people gaining access to VMSs and things of that ilk, camera hacking. Uh, the cyber security element now is obviously the buzzword. That's the thing that everybody wants to know about. So facial, I think, has become a lot more accepted. There was a lot of skepticism about how secure it was, but it's where you use it. You know, you're not going to use facial recognition if you're going into a missile silo or you're, you know, you're defending the country. But it's perfectly acceptable and highly usable for somebody who's in residential care, who's got dementia, who they don't remember to carry the key. So as they've got their face, as long as they present their face, 